Hi everyone, we have an interesting mini series lined up for you and this is about how to style the Divi slider in five interesting ways. Let's find out what we have in part one. So in part one, we're going to style the Divi slider to feature team members and the design is going to look pretty much like this. And as you can see, this looks really cool. So let me show you how we managed to achieve this. Okay, so to get started, we need to be in our WordPress admin dashboard. So uh, you need to log in. I'm already logged into my dashboard, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. So to create a new page, I'm just going to come here to pages and then click on add new. We're going to call this page part one. And then I'm going to click on use the DV builder. Now I'm running uh, DV 3.0 and we might as well go ahead and use the uh, the visual builder because this is a more fun way of designing our pages okay so i'm going to go ahead and click on use divi builder right so the first thing we need to do here is to add a new row and the row we're going to add is a single row and then the module we're going to add is a slider so i'm going to scroll all the way here until i find slider click once on that and now these are the slider settings Okay, so the first thing we need to here to do here is to show the arrows, show controls, we're going to leave that to yes, automatic animation, we're going to click on on, and then on the automatic speed, we're going to change this to 8000, so that'll be 8 seconds. So moving on, the next thing we need to adjust is continue automatic slider on hover, we need to set that to on. Okay, so that's all we need to do for, for the general settings. Next, we need to go into the design settings. We're going to change the header font to Cantata 1. Okay, the size is fine, it's 46. But now what we need to do here is to um, adjust the size on mobile devices. Okay, so on the tablet, we're going to change that to 30. And also on the smartphone. So this just makes it look much better because um, 46 on a small device looks massive. Okay, so now that we've got that, the next thing we need to do now is to add the CSS for the slider settings. So the CSS here is going to be added to two specific places. So the first place we're going to add is the slide description. So I'm going to paste the code in here. And the next code goes on the slide image. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here until I find slide image. And then I'm going to paste it here. So the CSS code that we're using in, throughout this tutorial can be found in the post and I'll link the post in the show notes below. It's free to use, so go ahead and use it in your project. All right, now we need to go back to general, add the slider. So I'm going to click on add new item. And then this is where now we can just go ahead and start filling in the information that needs to go on the slider. So I'm going to start by adding the heading so I'm just going to call this heading goes here. Next, the button text needs to be learn more. The button URL for now, I'm going to leave it as a blank link, but you can link this to whatever page you want. Uh, this could be within your website or externally. Okay, next what we need to do is to add the background image. And notice, as I'm adding all this information here, it's updating right here. So this is one of the cool things uh, that we get with designing our website using the front-end editor. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the image. So I'm going to click on Upload. So to upload the images, you need to click on Upload Files. And then you need to navigate to the folder where you have your images. So I'm going to click, click on Select Files. Now, my images are in the Downloads folder. And this is the folder. Okay, I'm just going to expand that so I can see which image I need. So I think it's this one. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to double click on this image and then I'm going to upload, uh, click on upload an image right here at the bottom right. Okay, so that's our image and we can see it right here in our preview. Okay, so moving on, what we need to do is we need to also add the slide image. So I'm going to scroll down here to the slide image and then I'm going to click on upload, click on upload files and then I'm going to click on select files as we did before and then here we need the image. Okay, I'm going to click open 
and then I'm going to upload an image. So now we can see our image is added there, but it's not perfect yet. Okay, so next we're going to add a background overlay. So I'm going to click on yes, and then here we're going to choose a color. So I'm just going to choose this color right here. And then I'm going to lower the opacity so we can see the image behind it like that. I think that's good enough. And then finally, what we need to do is to add content. So for now, I'm going to add dummy text, but you can also add uh, the content that you'd require for the slider. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And we can see here it's updating. So that's really cool. So now that we've added all this information, we need to go into the design settings. So the first thing we're going to change here is the arrows custom color. So I'm going to click that and we're going to choose this yellow. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I use the same yellow throughout. Okay, so the dot nav custom slider, again, we're going to use the same yellow as above. And I'm going to paste that just to make things easier for me. Okay, so next we need to go to the button. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to click on use custom styles for button from no to yes. So now here we get to get all our um, settings for the button. Okay, so I'm going to first uh, start with the background color. So I'm going to click on the button background color and I'm going to paste the same yellow that I used right there at the top. And we can see now our button has changed. So I'm going to scroll down here and make sure that the button border width is set to zero because we don't need that. So we can see here we've just changed that to zero and then uh, the button border radius we need to change that to five. Okay, so that just looks much better. Button letter spacing, we're going to set that to one. And then uh, here on the button font, we're going to make it uh, all caps. And we're also going to make it bold. So it looks much better that way. Okay, so that's looking good so far. We're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and then just make sure that we add a button hover color. So here I'm going to click and then paste that yellow but this time we're going to add a bit of transparency to that like that so let's test it so you can see here the color slightly changes so that's looking good and then finally we're going to add we're going to change this hover border radius from three to five just to match what we have there on the top okay so that's looking good so far so we can see here our design is really taking good shape so finally we need to add the css code Okay, so the code we're going to add here is very important because on small screens, we don't want the slide image to get cut off at the top. So this code prevents that from happening. So to add the code, all we have to do is to go all the way down here and click the expand settings. And then we're going to go into the page settings. Okay, so I'm going to click once on that. And then we're going to go on to the CSS and paste that code here. So that's all. And that's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes. Okay, so what we have here is one slider. So this is why we don't see the right arrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this slider a few times so you can see those yellow arrows. So here I'm just going to click twice to duplicate that. So now we can see we've got these three. So if I go ahead and click on save, now we can see those dots in yellow. And also if I put my mouse over this, you can see now the arrows again are in yellow. So I'm happy with this design. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder. So I'm going to click on exit visual builder. And now this is our design. So there you have it. This is how you style the DV slider module to feature team members. If you like this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up. And by the way, we will be producing these kind of videos every single day. So make sure that you subscribe and also uh, follow us on our social media platforms. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.